Got another organic mechanisms question for you to try. So we're up to number 17 now. There it is there. If you want to have a got that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. We've got to draw the mechanism for the formation of one of the organic products. Well, I'll do both of them um, just in case, you know, some people have done one and other people have done the other. But then I can use the structures to explain the last part of the question, why one of them forms in a greater quantity than the other. OK, so the first thing to explain, obviously, is the HBr molecule has this dipole across it because bromine is more electronegative than hydrogen. The upshot of that is a pair of electrons from the double bond, it's the pi electron pair, will be attracted to that slightly positive hydrogen and it will repel the electron pair that are in the HBr bond completely on the bromine and it's going to break this bond by heterolytic fission. So there's the structures of my two carbocation intermediates. So on the left hand one, the hydrogen is bonded to that left hand carbon. There it is there. Obviously that leaves a positive charge on the other carbon and obviously that becomes a Br- ion. Or on the right hand side, the hydrogen is bonded to this carbon. There it is there. Positive charge on the other carbon, Br- ion again. So the final part of the mechanism, we basically need to just bond the bromide ion to the carbon with the positive charge on. So we show a lone pair of electrons on the Br- ion and a curly arrow is drawn from the lone pair to the carbon with that positive charge. Likewise there. So the two possible products look like these two here. Right, so for the final part of the question, we've got to explain which of these two products would form in the greater amount. And that's all linked to the type of carbocation intermediate they've formed from. So this one here on the left, what type of carbocation intermediate is it? Well, we look at the C with the positive charge, just highlight that. So we're looking at how many carbon groups are bonded directly to this carbon. 1, 2. So this is a secondary carbocation intermediate. Do the same for the other one. 1, 2, 3. This is a tertiary carbocation intermediate. So the next thing we do is bring in the relative stability of these two intermediates. So secondary isn't as stable as tertiary. So more of the tertiary carbocation intermediate will form compared to the secondary, so this will be the major product.